Hi guys, welcome once again to Gaz Labs. Today we're going to be looking at the R2 from AirSpy and SDR Sharp. Now I've been here before, I've looked at all this sort of stuff before, and to be honest, I think it was uh, it's overdue a quick revisit. Now I'm not going to go into great details of how SDR Sharp works. It's a very simple program, although it does have some extraordinarily advanced uh, uh, facilities with it, with, uh, with noise re uh, reduction especially. Um, but as you can see, it's it's a really, really sort of functional program, works absolutely brilliantly. Um, and it, it's it's a very, very, um, very pleasing to look at uh, program, all in one sort of box and absolutely brilliant. So how do you get the latest version to work? Now, I don't know what version we're up to, but it's 15 something, I believe. Um, I'm going to show you how to get that to um, to work with the, the latest um, firmware. And we're going to look at the also the the spectrum spy as well so um, a very very brief look at this um, is, is is in order I suppose um, what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be picking your your air spy from the drop down list you're going to be setting the gain at sort of something whichever works for you you're going to be setting the sample sample rate whichever works for your PC um, and your need at that particular time and again you're going to be playing with the decimation according to your needs now I'm just going to be running it at two that's that's absolutely fine um, along sort of this sort of area here you've got some other bits and pieces um, which will enable either spy verter um, or disable the spy verter. I don't have a spy verter attached. I don't need it. Um, so here you've actually got the radio sort of modes, different modes. We're running in a narrow FM at the moment. And again, just going here, you've got bandwidth and, and order, a squelch and a CW shift, all that sort of stuff in there. And again, here you can then go down to picking which sound card that we're playing with, um, inputs and outputs and that sort of stuff. And you can set the gain and the filter um, audio. Here you've got control over your AGC. This part here you've got um, FST display. Let's make some room. Been very messy. Right. Okay. So this part here you've actually got some control over the, uh, how the how the display actually works. Okay. And you can fiddle with that to your heart's content. Um, what else we got? Noise reduction. Okay, this is the best part about for me. This is one of one of the best parts about um, uh, STR Sharp is the noise reduction. It's second to none. It's just brilliant. Um, again, here you've got um, IF noise reduction. A combination of those two. Maybe going into actually custom mode will, will really really work. Here you've got a baseband noise blanker, and again, this is very useful for the regular sort of um, kind of beats um, and. You've got a demodulator noise blanker as well there. Again, have a fiddle with that. Here you've got recording function, so you can actually record whatever you're listening to. And here you've got um, your Zoom um, FFT. So what you can do here, you can actually enable other windows. So for instance, here we're enabling, um, again, you, you can see that we're enabling different windows in, in the bottom. Um, so and also you can control the filter as well from down here you can actually see the filter um here we've got other uh, visualization uh, things so that will show you which band you're actually on um and it will auto update radio um sort of stuff and here it will set it up at either bottom top or full down the bottom here you've actually got um frequency di um sorry frequency manager this is where you can set up menu you know memories and that sort of stuff and down here you've got some diagnostic tools okay you probably won't need to play with those leave them alone until you absolutely need them and essentially whizzing back over to the right hand side you've got the zoom function and here you've actually got um, your dynamic range which will adjust um the, the heights of certain things um again this does it changes the some some actual um, offset um sorry range um and that actually does contrast um get that right um, and down the bottom here you've got an offset as well okay um again that's it's a very very simple piece of software works absolutely brilliantly but what i learned fairly recently is that there are um an ex you know an uh, extensive um range of add-ons so if you go here 
there are tons and tons of add-ons that you can get from rtosdr.com and like i said earlier on i'll put the link in the in the description and here you can actually do all sorts of things you've got things like fast scanners and um, all this sort of stuff which will just basically store um you know it will just scan through all the, all the things and anything interesting that's coming through it was it will store and you can go back and listen to um you've got things like this uh you know demodulator and um dde tracking um sort of stuff for like rotators and all that sort of things um again um net remote um that's actually quite interesting I might have a go at that one later on um do a remote control uh setup um Again, here you can have CTCSS um, decoder uh, plugin. So if you've got something that is transmitting nearby with a with a with a tone, you can actually decode that. Um, again, there's just loads and loads of um, stuff here, and there's one actually that's really really taken my interest, and it's this one, this DSD Plus. A lot of things nowadays are running digital, and this is one of the ways of actually helping decode that. It doesn't decode everything, and it's not always successful. Um, but the, one of the big problems for me with DSD Plus is it's so difficult to set up. It uses a virtual kind of uh, sound card thing, which you have to you you basically configure it by setting defaults in Windows. It's not such a clever way of doing it. It's not easy. Whereas this now gives you um, like a little um, like GUI for the for the um, for the for DSD, really really neat. You still need to install the software. You still need to install um, a virtual COM port and all that sort of stuff. But it works. Um, here you've actually got a Tetra decoder. That's quite interesting as well. And again, I'm going to be looking at those two um, in depth on a, probably on another video. So moving forward. Um, Sorry if I fit, if I if you think I'm rushing through this. That's um, I'm just trying to keep things interesting because there's no uh, there's nothing like watching a really boring sort of someone installing a software video. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Spectrum Spy. Now this is a very very simple program, okay? And all this does is it just scans um, the frequency range that you set over with a, with a center frequency now i'm just scanning 20 megs here with a center frequency of 133 and you can see simply change that down if you want now all this software is doing is it's telling you is where the sort of hot spots are and what sort of thing you can expect to find it in what location so here we can see that there's there's some activity going on here with quite sort of quite good stuff that's probably the airport and uh, airband um, and over this way here, up to sort of one, three, two, um, you've obviously got um, things like what was this scroll up there? Let's see what we've got. Well, there you go. There's the bus network, um, and up here you've got sort of start to get to amateur bands right the way from one four four to one four six or one four seven now, and you can see there's a little bit of activity there. This is just an inf information sort of thing, and you can get this down if you've if you've gone over. Let's just say we get this up to um, say 140, and we can now set this down to 10 megs. You just zoom in just that little bit more, and you can you can kind of see just a little bit of a breakdown on there, um, what's going on. Now, here you can set different different values to actually you know to make the contrast a lot darker, and just so you can see really what's what's going on. And you can set the maximum and minimum of that. And then here you've got RF gain, speaks for itself. And up here you've actually got things like static gradient, dynamic, that sort of stuff. And if there's something interesting there that you want to just take a quick snapshot of, you can up here in this top right hand corner. You've actually got a little camera there. You can snapshot the, the, uh, the, 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 the actual screen. So we're going to get rid of that now. I think we've pretty much done that one to death. Um, over here, I've actually got um, the uh, aircraft radar. That's quite interesting. I think that's a video on its own. Um, we'll probably go into that another another time. Um, that one's just a tad. Um, it, it can be just a little bit fiddly to set up, but it, it works really, really well. And... Um, Yusef spent a lot of time with me one evening uh, showing me how that worked and I was gobsmacked it's absolutely brilliant um, really 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 good just amazing bit of uh, 
uh, of trickery there. Um, but we'll go back to uh, SDR Sharp for the for the finish. Um, but what I'll do, okay, is going forward, okay, you know, do subscribe, okay, because I've got lots and lots of videos coming you know going over certain things i'm going to have um at the i'm going to have a flex radio um for, for a, a couple of days um i'm going to be trying the hf plus from s by um i'll be revisiting things like sdr play and what else we got coming up oh uh, sun sdr pro 2 um and the qrp versions um i'll be looking at Next video I'm doing, I've got a funny feeling, will be on one of the Spectrum Analyzer and Wi-Fi Network Analyzers. Um, so, yeah, there's there's tons and tons of stuff coming forward, so please subscribe, okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you like, I don't care. Um, just, you know, I, I try, I try my best. There's lots and lots of stuff I'm sure that I, I'm, I've not told people, but, you know, I'm not an expert in, in radio as such. Um, I just... You know, I just love this this the technology, and I just love to share it. So, you know, do do comment. I'll put as much links as I can in the in the bottom to help you guys out, so you can you know go forward um, and try this for yourself. Any tips for me? Put them in there. That's absolutely fine. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And um, as I say, I'll see you next time.